make sure you go check out fatalgrips.com. They sell cheap controller grips and controller cases, and yeah, you can use AHD for 10% off. Hello guys, it's Ron HD here, and today I'm doing another video. Today's video is a little bit different to any other video, as I'm predicting the 2016 and 2017 BPL season. Now, um, I'm going to go from number 20 to all the way to who I think is going to go first. This is my opinion, so do remember that, and um, if you have a different opinion, remember to put it in the comments below, because I do like reading other people's opinions, and yeah, let's get on to the video. So in the number 20th position, rock bottom off the table, I think it's going to be Hull City because the BPL starts today and they don't even have a manager or they, they, they just keep on selling their good players as well. Um, they haven't bought anybody great so yeah they're just going to do really really bad at the start and if they do get a decent manager I don't know but I still think they're going to go rock bottom of the table. Moving on to the 19th position, they've also just moved up from the championship. I think it's going to be Burnley um, because they just don't have a great team to compete to any other team in the um, BPL. I mean, they just need to sign better players and stop losing their good players. I mean, they have a better team than the whole city, but still, I don't think they're gonna ever going to make it through and just stay in the BPL. So the last team I think that will get relegated is Watford because... Again, they don't have a great team. They've been in the BPL, I think, two years now. And, um, yeah, they just only just stay up every single time. So this year, I think it's going to be their year and they're going to go down. I mean, yeah, they're just going to join uh, Burnley and Hull City in the Championship next year. And they'll probably get promoted again. But that's what some teams usually do. They just get uh, the promoted. Uh, yeah. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! Shit, I'm saying. So just making it up and staying in the BPL, I think it's going to be West Brom. They've been in the BPL for ages now, and every single year they're just they're just the most boring team. They always go literally so close to the bottom and getting relegated every single year. But yeah, I think they're just going to be able to stay up this year. But yeah, I think West Brom will come 17th. So in 16th place, I think it's going to be Swansea. Now, um, they've sold quite a lot of players and they just haven't bought anybody really amazing. I mean, yeah, so they're just going to come 16th because I think they're better than West Brom and all the other teams below because they have some still decent players and um, they might be selling Ashley Williams. I don't know if it's gone through yet um, because I'm recording it on the Friday and the BPL starts tomorrow. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's gone through, but if they do lose him, he's probably the main player in the whole thing. He's captain and he just leads the team quite a lot. And he, if they lose him, I reckon they're gonna. it's going to be a hard season for them. So in 15th place, um, I think it's going to be Sunderland. Now, they're another team that just stay down the bottom half of the season every single year. And they're nearly getting relegated every single year. But this year, I reckon they're going to do it again and they're going to stay up. But they're going to go 15th. And, um, yeah, they have signed a couple of good players, which is good to see. But it's, they just haven't got a great team to stay up in the top half of the table. and that. So I reckon they're just going to do exactly the same what they usually do and come around 15th. In 14th, you might be surprised, but I think it's going to be Middlesbrough, who just come up from the Championship. They've bought some sick players. I mean, the manager is pretty decent. He bought Victor Valdez, sick goalkeeper, has loads of experience. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to he's just gonna boss it in goal, I reckon. And, uh, yeah, they're all, all around their team is pretty decent, so I think they're going to stay up, and they're, they're actually going to do really good this season. Coming in at 13th, I think it's going to be Bournemouth. Now, they have had a couple of good seasons in the BPL. They've been doing really good actually for like their size of the club and um, what players they have. And their stadium is still so small. For a BPL side, they should have a bigger stadium for more people to watch, but their stadium is so small. Um, they just need to upgrade everything really. Their team is actually all right, but their stadium is shit. I know it doesn't really matter, but literally their stadium is like, I think it's the smallest BPL club like for the stadium. And um, yeah, I just, think they're going to come 13th maybe next year they're going to get relegated depends on who they sign and stuff like that so yeah that's where i think it's going to come 13th so just making it into the bottom half of the table i think crystal palace will come 12th because um yeah they've made some decent signings again but they just don't have the team to like stay up in the top half of the table and like compete against all the teams like west ham are going to come like seventh and that so yeah i think they are going to do quite well for Crystal Palace and what team they have, but yeah, they're just not going to do 
as well as some people think they will. So I think they're going to come 12th. So in the 11th place, just literally just making it into the bottom half of the table, I think it's going to be Stoke. Now, they always seem to be in the bottom half of the table, like around the top of the bottom half. And I think it's going to be the same this year again. Um, they have got a decent team, like a de really good team. But I don't know, they just never seem to do as well as lots of people think they'll do. And um, yeah, so I think they're just going to scrape it. Fortunately for them, I think they're going to come 11th. Moving on to the top half of the table. This is where it gets interesting. But in 10th place, I think it's going to be Southampton. Now, they're losing so many good players recently. Mostly from Liverpool, like the team I support. You probably do know that already. But yeah, they, Liverpool bought so many good players from Southampton. Like Mane, he's such a good striker. He scored against Barcelona and it was a sick goal as well. And yeah, I just think they're going to... They're not going to do that well, but they think they're just going to scrape it through to the top half of the table. In ninth place, I think it's going to be Everton. Now, they've made some sick signings this year. And um, so, yeah, I think they're going to do what they do most years, is come in the top half, but not go anywhere near, um, like, the top four, obviously, and uh, just stay around that area every single season. That's pretty much what they do. So, in eighth place, I think it's going to be the last year's champions. Leicester City, some people might be like, oh my god, I don't think they're going to do well. And some people think, yeah, they're going to come top four again. But for me, I think they're going to go mid-table, like, so eighth. It's quite high in the table, but it's like, for them, because they were champions last year, I think they're going to come eighth, because they are, they've are they lost Kante, um, their best mid, like, centre mid midfielder. And he's, just, he's the one who actually made loads of plays and stuff like that. So they've lost him. So I don't think they're going anywhere near as well, but they still have the likes of Mares and Vardy. So yeah, I think they're going to come like around eighth place. They're not just going to be able to keep up with um, like Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, and Chelsea because their managers and their teams this year were just insane. So in seventh place with the new stadium is obviously West Ham. Now they've moved to Stratford in the Olympic um, Park. The Olympic Stadium. Now, um, I think that's going to give them a really good boost because obviously it's a much bigger stadium than what they did have, and also uh, they've still got the likes of uh, Piat and that. So yeah, they're just going to do quite well. They're going to just scrape it into Europa League football. So yeah, that's what I think going to come to. So in sixth place, I think are going to be last year's runner-up, and it is Tottenham, obviously. Now, um, I just don't think it's going to be their season. I mean, Harry Kane didn't do well in the Euros. So I don't think he's going to score as many as he usually does. Deli Ailey didn't have a great Euros as well. I'm not saying this means anything, but I just don't think their players are going to do as well as last season. So in fifth place, I think Arsenal are just going to miss out on Champions League spot for I don't even know how long. They always come second, third, second, third, fourth. They just never come first and they never come out of the top four. But this year, I think they're going to come out of the top four. They, they... Their players, they've got so many injured players at the moment. I mean, they're obviously going to get better, but they're just, all their key players are injured. And, um, yeah, they need to sign a striker and a defender because you've got Koscielny, but then you've got Murta Saka or Gabriel. I mean, them two players, they're, just, they're not good enough for Arsenal. I mean, I think they need to sign. They really need to sign some players. So, yeah, that's why I think they're going to come here. So, in fourth place... My team Liverpool, I think they're going to actually make it into the top four. I mean, they did come second a couple of years ago, but that was because they weren't in Champions League football or anything like that. And Liverpool aren't in Europa League or Champions League football this year, so they're going to really concentrate on the BPL. And Klopp, he's just a tank. He's signed so many good players, and all the players recently in pre-season that they've been playing so sick. So, yeah, I think they're going to actually keep up with Man City, Chelsea and all that. So... I think they're going to come fourth and beat Arsenal and Tottenham this year. In third, I think Chelsea because they have a really good team. I mean, Hazard did a sh had a shit season last season. Um, but yeah, I think he's going to become good again. I mean, that's probably one of their key players. And the manager is just sick. The it he, he did manage Italy. They did sick in the Euros. And um, yeah... They're just going to do really good. So, it's down to the top two. Now, I think that it was so close. I kept on going back and forth. I couldn't decide on who was going to come second and who was going to come first out of the Manchester teams. Now, I did decide 
that Man City were going to come second because because I don't know about their new signings. They are pretty decent. I mean, they're quite young though, so you don't know if they're going to do good in the BPL because they've never played in the BPL before. And um, obviously, the BPL is the best league in the world, so it's a little bit different to any other league. Um, there's, but the competition is a lot higher. So the, for their new uh, signings, they haven't got much experience and stuff like that. So, and the manager has to settle in, obviously, because he did play, he did manage Bayern Munich, and he has to settle into the BPL because it is a much harder league. And obviously, Manchester United have Jose Mourinho. They just got Pogba, and they just got Ibra. They've, they've just done it. Oh dear, we are in trouble. So Man City, I think, are going to come second, and obviously Manchester United, I think, are going to come first. Their team is its just mad. It is mad this year. I mean, the last couple of years, they've been doing shit for Manchester United. I mean, Manchester United used to win all the time, literally every season when Alex Ferguson was here. But now they've got Jose Mourinho, I think they're going to do that again, and they're going to win this season. So there we go, that has been my BPL 2016-2017 prediction. I hope you have enjoyed this video, it is a lot different, so if you do like these videos, then remember to smash the like button, and let's aim for around 20 likes to see if you like it. And yeah, stay active, and uh, follow my Instagram, Twitter, and all that, and uh, yeah, subscribe to me around here, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.